Hey, 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 everybody. It's me, Mike Demonic. I know, where have I been, right? Are you ready for a long-awaited... Well, okay, not really long-awaited. It's something I planned on doing forever, but... But I didn't, because it's this game. If you've heard of it, well, you would understand. This game's kind of bullshit. But it's also adventure. So, you know, hand in hand, they're... They kind of go together. Let's, uh, let, let, let's start the story. So yeah, brothers living in the land of home. That's home, by the way. That will be our main character for the game, Julian. This is Julian's quest. Hope you appreciate that face. You're going to be seeing a lot of it. Yeah, Philip is in the game too. We won't be seeing him at all. One bit. And we'll be seeing kind and gentle Kevin 0% as well. Yeah, they're the two brothers that the game forgot. Because I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna do that, no. It's there's no point. So we've got a mayor telling us to get talisman. To protect from evil forces. Yeah, hello, say hello to Julian. We are in the village of Tambury. It's morning. And we got a lot of stuff we could do. You got random house you can go into. And, uh, yeah, there's, there's a whole lot to do in here, as you can see. You got a lovely straw mat to sleep on. And you got a lovely fireplace that you can never get started. Perhaps you would like to look at the fireplace. We have discovered a hidden object. That object right there. So we can pick that up. Yeah, we, we gotta go through this action menu here. And it's a bird totem. Bird totems, let me show you what they do. This is a very big, wide open game. So, of course, in a game this size, you want to have limited map function. There's your map. That's what the bird totem's for. So, you know, there we are, the, f the flashing cross. And you might be like, well, cool, cool. Now we got a map that we can use and check to see where we're at. I'm just gonna move over here a little bit. Uh, let's just pull up the bird totem. Wait, where'd my bird totem go? Oh, I used it! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! That's right. You use up your bird totem every time you check the map. You can always buy more. Let us talk to the friendly shop barkeep. Yes, let's, uh, let's see. Let's try giving him money. Yeah! Bird totems, they only cost 20 gold coins apiece. Which is exactly what we've got. What a bargain! Not really. So, getting lost will be a thing you get to do in this game. A lot. A lot and a lot. And uh, also combat. Let's go experience combat. But first, let's check out our inventory. We have a sword. Not really a sword, it's more like a dagger. We're not badass enough for the sword yet. One of the main things we're going to have to buy are these travel rations. You need a lot of these travel rations. Because Julian, he eats constantly. You know, I don't know why they couldn't just list it as an apple. It's obviously what that is. Or maybe it's a pomegranate, I don't know. Whatever. But yeah, we're going to be eating a lot. And you might also be like... Well, Mike. I see you got some different stats down there. What are they? Well, the B stands for bravery. We are Julian, so we are the bravest of the brothers. And bravery is important. Because you need bravery to be able to fight good. Oh, you will be fighting. 
you might be wondering what are you going to fight in this game. Well, let's go along the safe paved path full of cobblestones. And there you go! Let's open that chest up. We got a Jade Skull. Nice. What does that do? We'll find out later. Maybe. Hello, combat! Say hello to the Wraith! Let's just do the... the, 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 the there, there we go. There we go. There we go. Ah, ah, combat. Oh. And we died. That happens very quickly in the early game. Now take a look at the L statistic. It says 15. Watch what happens when the magical fairy does its thing. Well, maybe the L statistic said 20 a minute ago. Hold on, we're doing this again. Maybe. Yeah, there's an archer over there. That will end me pretty quickly, I'm sure. Archers are like the most overpowered thing in this game. You better run! Run if you dare! Fuck it! I ended him! We now have a bow and two arrows. And I've also got a dirk and a crystal orb off this guy. Yeah, we gotta loot the bodies. Every time. Now, I know I said bows were overpowered. No, that's if the enemy uses them. If you use them, good luck hitting anything. And having enough arrows stocked at all times to be able to make any use out of it. So yeah, we could spend all this time wandering around, finding different encounters, killing shit, and, you know, getting killed. I mean, you know, we could keep doing this. Yeah, there you go. See, L dropped down to 10. That's our luck statistic. Every time you die, it drops by 5. And when it hits 0, you the fairy don't resurrect you anymore. So that's good to know. K is kindness. We'll discover what that does later. And V is vitality. When it hits 0, well, you die. So yeah, we could do this. Or I could load a state where I've already grinded my bravery up to 203 and, you know, generally made a m massacre of everything. Excuse me, I was talking. Yeah, I think we'll do this. And I'll take that. So you might be wondering, what do we do? on our first stop of Julian Quest. Well, the game doesn't really give you much direction. You know, you can you can wander around indefinitely. Oh yeah, uh, uh, yeah uh, there we go. And I'll just, there we are. Yeah, Wraiths seem to have a lot of balls for the intangible enemies that they are. But yeah, you can spend a lot of time wandering around and not really getting any kind of clear-cut idea of what to do. Or you could do the Mike Mnemonic way! And use past experience to figure out the proper things. I'm sure, normally, when you buy this game brand new, back in ye olden times, that the instruction manuals were very clear as to how to make progress. But when you're like me and have to buy a copy of this out of the pawn shop, you, you don't know what to do because it don't come with shit. It don't come with an instruction booklet. It don't come with the handy dandy map. You're kind of fucked. So it's left up to you on your own devices to figure out what to do. First things first, I wish to get into the graveyard. and massacre everything that is living here.
So you might be like, Mike, why are we at the graveyard? Well, for a very good reason. To get into this building right here. So let's just try that. Oh, but it's locked! Do we have a key? Why, yes we do! Every time you kill an enemy, they might drop a key. There's only six different types of keys. And every time you go through a locked door, it consumes one. And it locks again right behind you, so you're going to be using them up over and over again. Luckily, I have a shitload of these gray keys right here. And that's what this door requires. So I will go to my gray key, and I will go in here. And we're in this crypt. Which is a good place to be. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Mike, you're, there's nothing to do here. Well, you may have noticed a message that popped up that said evening is drawing near. Well, that's what's happening here. What we have to do is we have to wait for the witching hour, which is midnight. Where's the time indicator? <laughs> We're playing fucking fairy adventure. You don't get a watch. You get to wait. All right. After extreme waiting, this thing appeared. Now, without actually attacking it, let's take a look. Okay, there's nothing there. That's great. The specter speaks to us. Someone usurped his lord of the undead status, and he wants us to bring bones to him of the ancient... The king. And he'll help us destroy somebody. So we have a quest. To bring this guy some bones. But where are the bones? Do you know where the bone? You don't know where the bones are. I don't really offhand either, but I'll, I'll find out. You better believe it. Can I give you some gold? The dead have no need for the wealth of that kind. That's a shame. I was trying to boost my kindness points. So yeah, it's nightfall now. This is the nighttime music. You might say, I can't see shit, Mike. Well, luckily, that's what these little green stones are for. You use them. Hold on. You use them. And suddenly you can see. Awesome times. Excuse me, I have to fucking massacre everything here. So next stop on my epic quest is I'm going to go backtrack. Back to Tambry. You're asking why? Well, we're not going to Tambry, no. What you would know if you had a million bird totems is that just east of Tambry is a magic circle of stones. What kind of magic, you ask? Shut up! I'm getting to it. Hold on. These things don't last but, like, you know, 30 seconds. They're, they're kind of worthless. Okay, it's midnight. Eastward ho! Well, a little north, too. There we go. So we're just going to venture this way. Until we come across the Stones of Magic. Also, I had to buy a lot of apples. We're eating a lot of apples. I need to buy more apples at some point. I, I guess I should grind for gold. That's half the fun! Of Julian Quest! Killing things, grinding for gold, and eating apples. A whole two gold from two of them. Nice. Let us continue the epic journey. We're fighting in the dark this time. So you might be thinking to yourself, Mike, you're so overpowered. How is this even a challenge? Rangers will still fuck you up, Royal. 
bravery makes you stronger when you grind it up, but oh man, arrows, they will still fuck you badly. Arrows are the most overpowered bullshit in this game. I tell you, I'm, I'm not lying. Excuse me. Where is it? Did I miss it? Hold on. Mm, no. I, I can barely see something right there. Okay. We're almost there. Oh, well, d duh! It's right here! This is the Magic Stone Circle. Yeah, alright. Now, what do you do here? Well, if you have instructions, I'm sure it's very simple. If you don't, you take wild guesses until you use the magical blue pendant. You can use these to teleport all around the place. I will be teleporting to the Isle of Sorcery. I said Isle of Sorcery. Behold, the Isle of Sorcery. Now, despite the name, there's not much magic going on here immediately. I mean, we'll probably find more goblins and... and skeletons and wraiths and all that shit, but other than that... I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to buy some more of these stones, too, probably. Or I'll run out at some point, I don't know. But yes, we need to go in this direction, because located on this very island is the mystical crystal palace of the blue sorceress. And I need to talk to her pretty badly. For plot reasons and other reasons, which will soon become obvious. But first we have to get there. In case you didn't realize it, you know, every time I step into the wilderness, the bushy shit, yeah, it kind of slows you down. Wait, what is this? Oh, uh, that's just a tree. Excuse me. I have to equip the take icon immediately. Because you gotta take from the race before they completely disappear. Otherwise, you'll miss out on good loot. Yeah, see, they give you white keys. White keys are kind of difficult to obtain. And we're, we're kind of going to need them later on. Kind of going to need them badly. At some point. Alright. Well, we have hit the southern beach. Now I will just continue westward until we hit... It. There we go. Yes. Ah, uh, you might think I've hit the western coast, but no. Go up a little bit. Until... There we are! Say hello to the Crystal Palace! Archers! Holy shit, that one's fucking me up. Damn it! Did you see that? My vitality was at a healthy 50-something. And it just got fucked in the A. Luckily, there is a solution for that. These handy glass vials. They restore marginal amounts of health. The Crystal Palace is locked! I will have to use my blue key to open that. And behold, we have entered the Crystal Palace. There's not much to do here. There's not much to do anywhere. Whole lot of empty rooms. All this space just for just for effect on the outside, that's all. Excuse me, we're gonna open this up here. And this, my friends, is who we came to see. Nothing. Yeah, the look function's kinda pointless sometimes. Kinda pointless. Let's talk to her. Welcome, said the sorceress. Here is one of the five golden statues you will need. Thank you, says Julian. And there we are. A whole lot of nothing. Which would be Julian's way of saying that I will gladly... Hold on. 
take the gold statue. There we are. Now you might notice that my luck has gone up from 5 to 10. That is from talking to the sorceress. Luckily, the sorceress... I will now continuously hit the talk button. I can grind the sorceress by talking to her for vast amounts of luck. I know nothing is really being said, but as long as I keep hitting this button, I can go up to 60? No. Hold on. 65. Yes. I don't think I can go beyond 65. So basically, now I have a shitload of extra lives in case I die. Which, with my vitality being at 25, that's very possible. So this seems like a good place to stop for the moment. Next time on Julian Quest, we go somewhere that is not here for adventure. Also, I can't swing my sword around like crazy every time I say adventure in here because because somebody's magic is preventing me from doing that. Somebody who's a buzzkill. Later!